Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show how to configure and output text reports from Copasi. The report can be custom structured for use in further analysis or visualization. Let's expand the tree under Output Specifications, where we can manipulate Copasi's output. Here we first see Plots, which is covered in another tutorial video. Plotting is a great way to immediately visualize a couple dimensions of output. But for higher dimensions of data, it quickly becomes useful to be able to select and structure data output for further external processing or more complex visualization. That's where a Kapasi report is useful. A report structure is determined by the report template it uses. A report template is user-definable and is applied to the output report of a specific Kapasi task. It can be thought of as not the report itself, but how a report will be structured when generated. If we expand report templates in the tree, we see that Copasi comes with a number of predefined templates. Each name relates to a task to indicate that report template might specify useful or standard output for that type of task. Users can also create and modify report templates, which I'll get to in a bit. But it is worth noting that a Copasi task can utilize any appropriate report template, regardless of how the task name might relate to a report template name. A template is selected when the report is configured for a specific task, and no report will be generated if a file name is not specified during that step. It will be easier to show this with an example, so let's load a model into Copasi. I'll load the MAPKHF96 layout model from the included examples. One case where reports are particularly useful is during parameter scans sampled over random distributions. Copasi can draw histograms directly, but random distributions may be analyzed in all sorts of other ways, and plotting will not be very useful here. I'll first set up a parameter scan task. Let's randomly draw some parameter values from a uniform distribution. Here I'll choose seven parameters by holding down the Control or Command key while selecting each. For this tutorial, I'll repeat this task only 100 times, once for each random sample set. I'll position the repeat item at the top, above all the random sampling items, so a new set of values will be sampled prior to each steady state run. Before I click the Report button to set up the report for this task, I'm going to create my own new report template for it. The easiest way to do this is with the Output Assistant. I'll just select the first predefined option under Reports. It was useful to set up my task first so that Output Assistant could be guided in automatically choosing some useful items for the report template. Now I see this new template under Report Templates. Output Assistant automatically included the parameters of interest as well as the species transient concentrations. Now I will customize this template. I might be only interested in the effect on one species, so I'll delete the others from the report output. There will be only one time value at steady state, so that can also be removed. I'm going to move the species concentration data to the first column by moving all the other items below it. Now, to actually utilize this report template, I'll set up a report for our task. From the parameter scan task, I click the report button. The custom report template I created via Output Assistant has been chosen as the default, but I could select any one of them from here. Rather than appending results to the same file with each subsequent run of this task, I'll uncheck Append to overwrite the file with new data from each run. I'll leave Confirm Overwrite checked to remind me in case I want to save the data from the last run. I'll make sure to type or choose a file name since no report will be generated without that. Now I'm going to run this parameter scan task. This will run the steady state task 100 times, 
each time with a distinct set of randomly chosen parameters, then output that to our file. Let's go ahead and open that file in a spreadsheet program. Our custom report template used the default tab separator, so it's appropriate to let Calc assume that's the delimiter to choose when separating text into spreadsheet columns. Here I can filter, sort, plot, or otherwise process for further analysis. A report template can also be structured in more advanced ways. I click this button to select Advanced Mode. Now I can use a custom separator, insert arbitrary text, and control where the separator is placed. I could, for example, format the table for display on a web page. Here I'll add some tags for a rudimentary HTML table. I'll give the table a border and background color. HTML tags for header items are different than those for rows, so I'll replace the separators in my header with these. Now, to close out the last column in this header row. I'll open and close each row and end columns for the body. For every row after the header, the HTML table separator will be the same, so I can just modify the template's field separator and keep its use in the body section. Finally, I'll close up the last column, row, and table in the footer. I'll choose a more appropriate file name for this report. I can now run the task and display this report file in a web browser. Reports can also be useful as inputs to more advanced graphing tools. I can, for example, 
create output suitable for a 3D GNU plot. I might wish to scan over two parameters and plot how that affects a species on a third axis. I'll modify the parameter scan task to systematically scan over two parameters. Again, I'll let Output Assistant help create an appropriate report template. I'll get rid of the items I don't want. Now, back at the task, I'll make sure my report is configured to use the right template and file name. Now I can run this parameter scan. I've created a basic GNU plot script, which will generate a 3D surface plot from this three-column report file. I'll run this script with GNU plot from the bash command line. Of course, you can modify the display and easily change the species or parameters you wish to plot. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what's possible with Kwasi reports and helps get you started with creating your own. This concludes this tutorial on creating and using reports in Kwasi. Thank you for using Kwasi.